right, it's time for the six month review on my Cobra 29 NWST that I installed in place of the stereo in my Jeep. All right, we'll just start out with all the features first. Um, has the front mounted mic connector, which made it so that I could install it right in the stereo slot. Uh, we have the volume and squelch, the squelch being the back one. The dynamite, also known as mic gain which I leave that all the way up. The RF gain for signal coming in, which I also leave all the way up. And on this radio, where the dimmer used to be, it has echo and talkback. I don't like either one. Unfortunately, I can't shut the talkback off. I can only turn it way down. And then we have the SWR Calibrate, which works with the meter, and this switch here. The meter, right now is set for signal coming in and going out and then you can set it to well first you set it down to calibrate and you turn the knob and you calibrate the needle to the little arrow and then you put it to SWR to get your reading All right, then we have the noise blanker and noise limiter which work really well on this radio uh, we'll talk about that upgrade that was done to this this has a receive mod done to it. I don't know exactly what they did, uh, but this is one of the best AM receivers I've ever had. And as you can hear, it's super quiet. These people that I'm hearing, most of them are in Colombia, which is 30, 40 miles away. If we shut off that, we can hear there's a little bit of static that comes in. put that back on it gets rid of almost all of it and then when somebody does talk you can hear them instead of the noise then we have the normal the CBPA switch uh, the tone switch the high and low I like it better on low then we have the the 919 switch and we have the sound tracker which to me I don't really care for the sound tracker it cuts out too much that radio is full blast right now, squelches off. <laughs> There's not even any static. <laughs> so I don't usually use that, it just cuts out too much. Alright. I'll turn that down so we don't have to listen to them. For transmit, this radio has had MOSFET finals put in it. Um, this radio keys up, dead keys, somewhere around 7 watts, and will swing high 20s, low 30s. So, to get it to swing way up there, I put on a Cobra Power mic. Because with a regular mic, the modulation was just too low. The, the mods that they did to the modulation in the radio, it needs to have a power mic on it. So I put a, a power mic, a Cobra one, it has a little indicator there, and we're broadcasting on 19, shame on me. So that's it, that's my Cobra 29, it's been a fantastic radio, I've enjoyed having it in the car here with me. Alright, I did some road testing, and I'm going to give you a clip, uh, first from about 10 miles away, it's actually almost exactly 10 miles straight line, uh, I was transmitting with this one obviously and I had a camera set up in my garage at the station that I have in the garage so I'll play you some of that those clips now
I can say Mrs. Mo a junkie, but Miss J Mrs. Junkie is just bad. <laughs> Try it again. And do a good sign off this time. Uh, I'm being harassed. She's harassing me. Mo a junkie, 151, along with his missus, side by side, signing off for now. We'll catch you next time. How's that? Much better. <laughs>